Matthew 15. To go back with what you were saying. Look what Christ said in that same chapter. Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, This is Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. According to the Bible, he's black. He's a black man. The King of kings and the Lord of lords is a black man. A lot of these churches tell you color don't matter, but they stop at a red light every time they ride down the damn street. They stop at a red light. If color don't matter, why you stop on red? Why you don't go on red and stop on green? Because everything mattered that God created in this earth. And Christ walked this earth like me and you. But look what he said. I am not sent. He said what? I am not sent. Can you send yourself anywhere? No. Somebody had to send him. Who sent him? God. God, his father. He said, I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who more lost than the blacks, Hispanics, and the Native American Indians? Who more lost than us? Nobody more lost than us, and they not getting taught. Our people not getting fed with the word of God in these churches. These churches have been playing church, singing, clapping, dancing, gyrating, and not teaching our people how to get out their situation. Not, uh, not telling our people, get off these damn streets and stop hoeing. Get off these damn streets and stop gang banging. Get off these damn streets and stop selling drugs to your people. Our community is destroyed. You go to the, uh, the, the Beverly Hills, you go to the, uh, Calabasas, it's all beautiful over there. You come to our hood, we got 30 churches in one mile radius and nobody changing. Why? Because the word of God is not going out to this world right now. Bring it out. We the only ones that are bringing this word out. Are we going to bring it out and wake our people up and people who like it or not? They, are not, not? they got no choice but to change. Change is inevitable. We've been playing church for too long. We time for us to start waking up and coming back to them. Your degrees don't mean nothing to God. Your PhD don't mean nothing to God. You're going to die with a PhD if you don't repent and come back and serve the true and living God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's not for everybody. He's for his people, the Israelites. Read. But he answered and said, I am not sent. God said, I am not sent. Who sent them? His father, the black God. God is black because Christ said, if you see me, you have seen the father. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm show her right now. Read. I am not sent. Christ, the black, Christ is black, and I'm going to show you in numerous places in the Bible. In the Bible. The same book these churches are supposed to be showing you. Read. I am not sent. God said, I, I mean, Christ said, I am not sent. Can you send yourself to the store? You just went to the store, right? Can you send yourself to the store? No. Somebody got to send you. You can take yourself to the store. You can walk to the store, but somebody got to send you. God sent Christ. Christ said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who more lost than us? Who more lost than the Israelites? What do you call yourself? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? No, no, you, they no promises. That's why we are here to come teach our people. I know, but I'm asking you a question. What's your nationality? We're going to answer every question. We ain't going to tell you just have faith and believe in Christ. We're going to go in this Bible and show you everything you ask. You're a Gentile. You are a Gentile. You call yourself an American. If you call yourself an Afro-American. If you call yourself a Negro, you are a Gentile. You're one following another nation. In Acts 10, with Cornelius, Cornelius was an Israelite. He was followed. Cornelius was an Israelite. You understand, sis? What's your nationality? What's your nationality, brother? You Hebrew. That ain't a nationality. That's a language. Right. You close. You close. You're an Israelite. What's your nationality? You call yourself African American, black, Christian. You know the Israelites were the first Christians. Give me that. Give me that. In Acts 11, 26, the real Christians are the Israelites. These churches ain't telling you that because they want your money. Tithes is not money in the Bible. Tithes is not monetary money. That's a lie. Don't you know what? And I'm going to tell you all something else. When Christ walked the earth, when Paul walked the earth, when Timothy walked the earth, it wasn't no New Testament. You understand? They was living the New Testament. Right. It wasn't no New Testament. Everything they spoke of came out the Old Testament. So how the hell are the people going to say the Old Testament is done away with? Right. The Lord is done away with. That's all lies that have been taught. Read. Acts. Chapter 11, verse 26. Bring it up. And when he had found him, 
he brought him unto Antioch. When he found him, he brought him into Antioch, read. And it came to pass uh -huh. that a whole year, what? that a whole year, a whole year, they assembled themselves with the church. They stayed there with the church a whole year. And taught. And what? And taught much people. They were teaching the people the words of God. They were the singing, clapping, dancing, shaking, gyrating. They were teaching the people out of the Bible. Read. And the disciples. And who? And the disciples. Who are the disciples? Who are the disciples? Huh? No, no. The disciples was the Israelites that was walking with Christ. Christ had 12 disciples walking with him, which was Israelites, which was Israelites according to the Bible. He said, and the disciple, and the Israelites, and the disciples were called Christian. What? Were called Christian. What? What? Were called Christian. The disciples was called Christians first. Because they were following Christ. They were called Christians first. The word Christian never came to the Greek. Stop calling us Christians. The Greeks stopped talking to us and calling us Christians. The, the disciples was called Christians first in Antioch. No. And the Christian and the disciples were called Christians first. How our people don't know this? How this in the New Testament? How our people not realizing or reading that the Israelites are the true Christians? Now who the Israelites? The blacks, the Latinos, and the Native American Indians. We one nation of people. We not separate people. We one family. God chosen people. God chosen. We one nation. Like the Chinese is one nation. The Arabs was uh, one nation. The East Indians is one nation. The blacks and Latinos and Native American Indians. We are one nation. That's right. Why you think all is being punished? Why you think all is being punished? The, the Latinos get shot down like we are. The Latinos fill up the prisons like we do. They going through the same curses in Deuteronomy 28 that we going through today. They're going through the same thing. Now, come over here, sis. Now, I'm going to show you something over here. Over here, these, these churches, we learned this, right? What scripture is this? Tell, I give somebody a million dollars and he's going to show me one scripture with Jesus Christ's wife. I give him one million dollars and they're going to show me one scripture that say he had blonde hair. That say he had a, a, a blue eyes. Yeah, We're going to read it right now. We're going to read it right now. We're going to read it for you right now. Read. Look at me a uh, Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 1. And it's been in the Bible a long time. This been in the Bible for a long, 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 long time. That white image came up in 1453 right. in the Renaissance area. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci painted that picture of that white image of Christ. Christ was never white, never will be white. He was always black. Right. He was always black. Free. Right. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. That's why I said, we ain't praying church. We ain't praying your job right and singing to you. We're going to go through this Bible and show you exactly anything you ask. Because right. like I said, your worldly PhDs mean nothing to God. Your degrees mean nothing to God. Right. When you die, you can't take none of that with you. You know what he's going to judge you against? This Bible. The Bible said the books was open. What books? Bring it up. Your life according to this Bible. How you live according to this whole Bible. Not a half a Bible. Not three quarters of a Bible, a New Testament, the whole Bible. That's what God going to judge us against. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revelation, you know what it means? To reveal, to reveal, to reveal, to reveal. What he revealing? Christ's description. Read. Which God gave. Who? Which God gave. Who gave? Which God gave. God gave the description and he walked with him. He was a disciple. This is John the Revelator. Where that was on the island of Patmos. He was living on the island. They, 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 prison. they sent him to like a prison on the island of Patmos. John the Revelator, the one to walk with Christ. So if I'm walking with you all the time, I know how you look, right? Right. Read. 
which God gave unto him to show unto his servant. God gave it to John the Red River to show unto his servant. Who are God's servants? Who is God's servants? You know who God's servants are? Get it. Come on. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake. Jacob, my servant. Who Jacob? Jacob name would change to Israel. Israel means a prince or a princess that have power with God. Right. Read. For Jacob, my servant's sake, uh -huh. and Israel, mine elect. Uh -huh. I have even called thee by thy name. He called us by his name. So why we ain't being taught this? Why we playing, dancing, shucking, and jiving instead of getting the word of God out? Famines and wars and rumors and wars are coming out. Go ahead. Go back. Famine, wars, and rumors of wars is happening right now all over the earth. We living in the last days, sister. You got time to get right. They tell you grace, grace, grace. Grace ain't nothing to play with. If you got a job, they give you a small time to clock in. I mean, you, you're supposed to be there at 8 o'clock. Your grace spirit, they might say, at the 8.05, I'm mocking you late. Then you got a small time to get right before the uh, true Messiah, the King of Kings, return. Right, right. That's what grace is, living righteously according to the Bible. I'm going to get that for y'all too. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. God gave it to John to show to his servants. Things which must shortly come to pass. We know, according to the Bible, the servants are the Israelites. Right. Good. And he sent and signified it by his angel and his servant John. Three. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. What God say? Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that second job. Blessed up. is he that readeth. Blessed is he that be lying and taking tithes from the people. Blessed. Is he that read it? God said, blessed is the man that read himself. Not to be told something, not to be told no long story, but to be reading. We got to open the Bible ourselves and read it. We got to stop playing with God. God is not to be played with. Read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. We supposed to hear the words of the Bible. The prophecies in the Bible, we supposed to hear these words. Right. When they come out, you say you cried earlier. You supposed to cry when you know you're doing wrong. You supposed to cry when you ain't living right. right. Because we know the judgment from our true and living God. We know it ain't no game out here. Read. And keep those things. If you keeping it, that means you take care of it. You're going to hold it. You're going to maintain it. You're going to take care of it. Right. He said keep these things. Which are written. Which are what? Which are written. What are what? Which are written. Keep the things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. It's time to stop playing. It's time to stop pimping. It's time to stop teaching your people the right way to live before Christ destroy you. Read. Read, uh, read 14. Verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. Who got white woolly hair? Who got woolly textured hair? You do. You do. He do. He do. We do. We got woolly texture here. He said his hair was white. That means the hair on his head and the hair on his face. Because Christ had a beard. Right. I don't know why the hell these damn people in the church would be shaving off their beards. Christ had a beard. How you know a male lion from a female lion? The man. God gave the men names. He gave us beards not to be shaved off. Who don't got no beard, sister? Who on this planet right now do not have beards? Right, I'm talking about human beings. Huh? Yeah, but who don't have beards? Women, 100% right, my sister. Women and children. Women and children. Them the only ones that don't have no beards. You understand? God gave a man a beard to wear, not a beard to shave over and look like a... He could be a transsexual, who knows? You know what I mean? He gave us a beard to wear, that's a badge of manly dignity. Read, he said his hair and his head were white. Like who? Like mine turned white. Christ's hair had turned white at that time. Read. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, we go to the liquor store right now and buy some liquor or some wine. What color the white of your eyes going to turn? Red. It's going to turn red. The white of your eyes going to turn red. Ho. Ho. His head and his is not woolly. Right. It's not woolly. 
We just got his head and his head's now woolly. And the, and the white of his eyes is white. It ain't red. None of these pictures of eyes are red. The white of his eyes is white. You understand? His head, this is a description. This ain't him. This is just a description. According, like if you tell me how your father look, I'm drawing a picture. I'm going by your description. You telling me. This is just an illustration of how people can see that Christ was a black man. He said his eyes was red with fire because he drunk wine. What's Christ's first miracle, sis? His first miracle turning water. Turning water yeah. into wine. Christ drunk wine. They call him an alcoholic because he drunk wine. He never got drunk, but he sipped wine. You understand? Yeah. He said uh, his eyes was red with fire. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. I'm looking at the top of your feet. Now, remember, John the Revelator had bound down like this. I'm looking at the top of your feet, right? Yeah. Is that the same color as your leg? Is the top? Yeah. It's right here. The same color as right here. Yeah. Same color as right here. Yeah. All right, then. He said, and his what? And his oh. feet like a divine brass. His feet like a divine brass. The color of brass is like goldish. It's a derivative of gold. You understand? It's goldish color. His feet like into brass. As if they burn in a furnace. You see that armband he got? Brass and oh, wait a second. You see that armband he got? Brass is like this color. You, the real brass is like this. But he said, as fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. If you burn anything, what color is going to turn? If you burn, if I burn rice, if I burn rice, what color is going to turn? If I burn rice, what color is going to turn, sis? Black. Black. If I burn that pole, it's going to turn black. Anything you burn is going to turn, if you burn this car, it's going to turn black. It turned black. He said, as fine brass as if it burned in the furnace. This is burned brass. When you look at these illustrations, hold that, hold that. When you look at these illustrations, this is burnt brass. Come here, sis. Show her. Turn around the other way. You see this here, sis? Yeah. This is burnt brass. This is burnt brass. This is burnt brass. That's how it turned. This is burnt brass. This is brass right here that got burnt. What color is it? Take, I know. You, these churches have been lying so much, you got to get closer. What color is this? Black. Black. He said it, it, it burned. In a furnace. Christ is a black man. Right. According to the Bible. He said in his feet, like into fine brass, as if it burned. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.